Morning guys, I'm the Tech Prepper. Hope you're all doing well. I'm in the middle of a HF 80 meter RDOP session right now. And uh, this is live, so apologies for any screw ups. Uh, we're connected on just five watts to a station that is 50 miles from my location in Wickenburg, Arizona. So don't need a whole lot of power. Uh, it's the middle of the night or very early morning, so 80 meter is a great band. And I will tell you that digital modes are very difficult. And this is one of the things I'm trying to solve with MCOM tools. So in addition to being able to have this offline, off-grid communications platform, so I can send uh, emails, for example, like we just sent right now, um, I want it simple to use. And there is a lot of nerd stuff I've had to deal with. So I have settled on Ubuntu 22.10, mostly because I need it for uh, the touch experience on my CF20 Toughbooks. And with that, it actually brought a version of the Linux kernel. Again, nerd stuff here. Uh, where the heck do I have it? And I'm running uh, version 5.15. And there is a known issue here with RDOP. Uh, it actually took quite a bit of in investigation to see what's going on. So I had to, let's turn this down. Yeah, this video is going to be raw, guys. Uh, so long story short, I was getting a bunch of um, RDOP. Uh, CRC uh, issues. They were I was unable to decode uh, the frames properly, and I was getting a lot of these decode failures, and it was preventing me from actually establishing a session quickly. And after a lot of research, like I said, I nailed down the problem to Linux kernel 5.15, and I found a really great post. And I have to give a shout out to let's see the gentleman's name here, uh, Carl Alpha Delph. Delta 8 Quebec and uh, he basically had the secret sauce to fix this uh, essentially it required a bunch of settings in your a sound resource configuration and uh, some adjustments to uh, what was it here uh, the leader length setting this value so after compiling the latest version of r.c bring that over to mcom tools updating the configuration, doing a bunch of stuff, it is just flying. Like I literally this morning was able to fetch on 80 meters with five watts, uh, these five or six messages in just under a minute and was able to also send out the message that we started this video with. So long story short, uh, MCOM tools is designed to now encapsulate all of this configuration, all of this research. And people ask me, why are you using the CF20? Uh, why are you using version of Ubuntu? Well, there's a lot of different configuration that can go sideways. In fact, this version of the RDOP modem was working in earlier versions of the kernel. Uh, in fact, according to my notes, let's see if I can find it here. The earlier versions were uh, 5.1 and 0, or 5.10. And, um, the reason why this is significant, why my philosophy is different is, I want MCOM tools to be a snapshot in time, right? I want everything to work, right? Even though Ubuntu 22.10 is uh, not LTS, not long-term support, I prefer that I can get everything working on that version with the features I need, like the ability to have the touchscreen work, the ability for GPS to work, and the ability for all of the communication software that I need to work. So now I know RDOP is working fine, so I'm not gonna change it. I'm gonna use this version and we are done. It's configured, it flies. Same thing with Pat Winlink, I have a version that works with everything, no need to upgrade. And then I'm gonna move on to the next thing, I'll move on to, um, what's the next integration? Well, I've got FL DigiWork, but you get the point here. Uh, the problem with modern systems is they're continuously updating, they're continuously trying to work and provide support for uh, lots of different platforms and users. I'm taking a 1990s approach, trying to build an appliance with known hardware, and I'm trying to work with stable software. And right now, like I said, I'm having to patch a lot of things, but this is the heavy lifting that you shouldn't have to do. So. I'm on a good path, it basically is what I want to share with you guys. And then for people who are new and have no idea what I'm talking about, I also want to share with you that the fact that I'm able to use 5 watts with a very simple antenna outside with, I don't know, about 100 feet of feed line, 
and being able to send and receive emails completely offline is what I'm all about. Anyways, long random video, unedited. Hope you guys enjoy it. Let me know if you want me to do like a detailed uh, Winlink RDOP video. I know everybody's moving to VAR FM. I'm not moving there for various reasons. I'm not going to go into it just yet. Anyways, I'm the Tech Prepper. Be strong, be safe, and be prepared. Oh, take a sip, man.